hi how are you welcome to creator p uh, we are going to discuss the the new css grid system today so uh, i have another one uh, decent update it's kind of a mobile website so uh, i am showing to how to convert this one to an, a new css grid html okay so we can start here so the basically i'm convert to two part of that uh, design you can see here is so basically the uh, so one header one banner section and one container and one button so uh, this is the our the layout the foundation of the html is going on so every, every html uh, conversion we need then a proper foundation for the html so then only we can get a proper output so that's why i am convert to th three part so easy to understand these things so uh, that's why i'm mentioning that so i'm just open my visual code editor so first we need to create an a folder css grid i already created that inside we need to add an a uh, one folder so no <coughs> html okay file new okay new then folder then it's called html yeah html is fine okay the inside we need to add an uh, first we need to open that folder okay open folder uh, okay so opening yeah opening so choose the html then select it so the visual basic i think you know the guys the visual basic it's a good cool editor so it's a lot of option they implement here so uh, you see the html folder is here so i'm just create a new html file so html index.html is fine okay so we created the html okay the visual basic studio visual studio have an, a the one features just to put a exclamation mark here then you can see an a default html structure they provide it's automatically come so you can title css grid okay css grid is fine okay so next you need to add a uh, style for this html so uh, you see the html is created here okay uh, we can open that in browser i'm using the chrome browser you so whatever you guys use the browser then just open it the browser you cannot see anything because i'm just put the html uh, proper structure so just an html basic structure here the next step we need to add a style so i'm just create uh, main.css yes uh, okay but i think we need to and uh, i create one folder css then we can add instead of that css that's a better proper html conversion way so make a css folder just to drag it to uh, the it's move it to the css folder it's fine so okay so you can see on the folder uh, the css folder the main.css and outside is a index.html okay fine so let's start how we can do the first we need to link that css in the html so the style sheet link here so everything we going to do and please comment it because uh, in a future in a big project or something if you do then you get an uh, easy to understand what you did or what the uh, the line is uh, showing you so everything you can describe it perfectly so the first link src then my language is then link src then the css part so our css is inside of the css folder so css slash main dot css main dot css okay perfect so here the type what type of link is the text slash css okay from the object from the next page is rail rail should be on a style sheet rail rail should be on a style sheet at this point okay so if you don't get a how to kind of attach the css or something just to google it whatever you want to in a doubt or some specific area just to google it you will get a proper answer 
uh, to a lot of websites where showing the CO therapist payment and everything you can get it uh, something like that if you go for uh, how to convert on to attach your CO payment this is the W3C they're providing the proper way so you can see here you see so yeah so kind of similar but but sometimes it will be an a different or something you can change it the proper way so i'm just to copy this one then paste it at the down you can check you see the same but the uh, the first is the side sheet something like this so both are working perfect but i'm using the second one is taken this so, um, so that's a proper way of how to attach the css so you can change remove the old one okay just change the name so it's a css slash um, slash css uh, name dot css this one css okay fine just close it okay okay fine so okay perfect okay okay then uh, we are going to convert that one so first of all we need to add okay so this is the style here when the index okay so we can check on the browser remove close it this one uh, nothing we can see because we didn't do anything on that so the first of all we need to uh, add the grid structure first so i'm going to do a uh, grid structure okay so we we'll get the, going to the style sheet so the body body okay so the basically uh, uh, sorry okay basically uh, yeah it's a bad page too low let me just connect my cable first okay it's fine so the first the, the body section this is our the major canvas so the body is called this one basically so it's a body part is that one so the we need everything having a default style so the body have a, some default style we put the margin zero and the padding zero this is the basic style uh, okay the beginners you don't know these things so it's so just a basic style for the body or just a uh, that thing okay that's why then we cannot see anything in the change because we never add any elements of inside so the first of all we need to uh, the body the grid or css grid we need to put there so uh, uh, so we first add the css grid here so just comment it whatever you're doing so grid structure okay grid structure is fine so the next one is um, put it down arrow uh, okay down arrow down arrow is fine then um, okay okay perfect so first of all uh, okay okay first of all we go into the design you can see here the major part on the header on the top we have an one header okay one header is the header okay header but sorry remove this two header banner body and footer so banner and button the last one is button okay so this is the thing so here we put to uh, uh, the new css the prop the uh, it's called a popular css things so um, okay So just put in a grid okay grid template columns so how many columns you you need to uh, that structure that they say so the uh, first of all we need to display grid it's a first we need so it's a display type grid so the next one is grid template it's grid template okay grid template Okay, the templates column. So the column means how many column you need. So just choose the column, the template columns. So the basically we have the four columns. So the first column should be in a 60 pix, and 
uh, first column should be an 100 percentage because we have a one column is fine so 100 percent then next one is grid template rows rows we required uh, how many rows we required so the header banner body and button so it's uh, four uh, rows we required so um, first of all uh, the first row first row means header header is a 60 pix uh, height and the second one is banner it's uh, 242 is pixels is the height then the third one is a content section content section we never given a proper or particular height it should be auto always so we keep it like that okay sort of then the last one means it's a button that also is a 60 pixels it is yeah, 60 pixels okay fine so uh, let's see we can put it on the CSS so here rows first row is 60 pixels okay second one is a banner banner should be an a second uh, banner a banner should be a 242px okay yeah i think 242 right yeah 240 yes perfect 242px uh, okay then 242px okay then the third one is auto sorry okay space and auto third one is auto okay and fourth one is a button that should be an a 60 pixels okay this is the uh, rows of our html structure okay that's fine then we need to mention these are what is the areas so uh, grid template areas so is is the structure is small different so just an a codes here the semicolon then inside we need codes okay codes so inside of the course we need first one is a header so that should be header then second one should be in a banner we can call banner okay then the third one that's the second one is a banner okay and then third one okay, sorry. Uh, third one third one should be a main main section main body then the fourth one should be a button yes perfect so the button so these are the major rows we require the rows so the grid structure we put but we cannot see anything on the browser right now so so we need to put an uh, html tag here first first we need to header on the top so it should be header okay header perfect so just a uh, comment it whatever you are going to do so and just add the header part is fine so header header part we we'll comment it okay then the uh, that's fine then the second one okay and okay 200 is fine so we can add the banner section right so it should be and a section is fine i think the section so one section close it uh, that's called banner banner part okay the indentation is called okay fine and then the third one this one should be an uh, main main body it's mentioning the main body it's the content and title whatever the uh, the body section that is the main that's called main so it's a main okay it's a html5 task so okay main body part okay perfect. so the last one in the button so it's a call to action button so uh, just put a button here so button okay it's a okay but button part okay perfect we put the all uh, each even structure here is fine so just to save it okay so so right now we add the HTML tag instead of the HTML body so next one we need to style up each one okay so going to the style 
so go to the style and so the we cannot see anything i think the default style of the button we can appear here so because the browser uh, browser style of the button so but the next things we need to have a proper uh, mobile view so the i'm using the chrome browser you can see on the inspect element in a, a mobile is a mobile uh, orientation here so i choose the iphone 7 8 that thumbnail this is fine so you can see here one button so button is a default browser style that's why it's coming like that so don't worry about that okay uh, that's it then going to the uh, go to our visual studio editor and then just we can shift it to style so here we going to add each style so first one we need to add that part just to comment it okay then sorry yeah. header make header okay header enter e a d r okay header okay bracket open and close okay it's fine braces open and close then inside we need to put a grid area so that which area we mentioned we already put on the above in a body so grid area should be header okay so header it's automatically come the style of every uh, header section so you can check on your browser uh, first we need to put on a color otherwise we cannot identify so background should be in a black we can put exact same color uh, ash the triple two is fine okay it's the shades of the black okay ash triple two is fine okay perfect so just to check your browser you can see the you see it's perfect it's a 60 pixels height of address scan right now so okay perfect so the next step is send the banner section the banner section also we can mention the banner so we call it banner on the body grid so here uh, the section uh, so uh, that time we need to add a uh, a specific id for the banner so uh, it's a section so it's id is equal to a banner yeah this perfect if you want to put in a class is fine but the the i think the when you started some specific area just to put the uh, id so id is mentioning hash id okay okay inside we put the uh, grid area grid area is called banner right yes banner okay yeah banner fine then the background should be in an and give a specific color we don't require a, any color on that section but i'm just to put a color for easy to understand so i put yeah front of one is fine okay it's a light shades of white okay is uh, uh, the banner section is up here in right now okay perfect the next section is sent to our main body content section so uh, it should be a body main section okay so put it here then uh, main places open close then grid area grid area is main okay main okay perfect so main should be on a white background it's always the board is white okay this is my favorite color is white okay fine so the white we cannot see because the height is auto it's uh, depend on your content and whatever inside of body it automatically increase the size so just leave it whatever on the body section its height should be auto so um, we cannot see anything there okay then the last one is a button okay 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 perfect so we go to uh, the visual studio css okay uh, so the button okay uh, sorry yeah you see button okay. uh, button okay this is open close so the grid area should be button button the next one we need to background so the background should be in a gradient so the everyone 
have any doubt how we can put the gradient on the plot so i am go to uh, show the easy simple method so google gradient generator just put the gradient generator yes it's fine so uh, my internet is broken no no it's okay it's working um, okay you can see the second link here css it's a color zilla it's a very good tool in online tool for the css generation and all so a lot of template they providing and so so i think we have a two color okay two color gradient you see the two color so choose any template for the two color okay just remove this third one okay it's two is fine okay so the so every gradient is started from left to right so uh, we can choose the color code from our xd so go to our design first okay this one was first color is a left side so yeah select it right uh, so first color should be in a red okay yeah red is the first is a left okay started from the left left to right okay so we need to copy the red one so copy red for the left side so copy then the double click here and just paste it then press ok ok is fine the next one is the right side color that should be a light pinkish shade ok the pinkish shade is a dark pinkish shade so choose that section ok click here copy your code then paste it here ok fine ok press ok so this is the uh, that code for the Reading. so just to copy it and paste it just paste it here okay you see so some kind of course is game is not okay one integration is fine okay perfect so the button gradient is came right now yes refresh it here yes but you can see the some the button default style will come it's a browser style will come so always come for the button so uh, that we need to remove first so just enter here okay so border we don't require so border none okay okay border none okay perfect so yeah sorry border okay yes perfect so remove one so the basic structure right now is ready for our uh, uh, website so the next step we need to style each part or we need to implement each part first of all the header so header you can see the three section here one menu and the title and the favorite icon so uh, i'm just structure something like that so one uh, menu and one favorite icon should be same size and the middle one is and a title that should be auto because the title always auto is so whatever the content you put it's auto so put inside header inside we need to three section okay so, so first one is nav second one is second one is uh, second one is first one is nav and second one is first one is nav and second one is okay so the next uh, the first one is now second article and third one is whatever we need to put here so the third one is icon favorite icon so we can put uh, div whatever you need so the better way is you can put uh, the third all one should be an a div so i'm just going to change it it's a aside whatever you want so aside is fine then this is, uh, the second one is article is fine third one is nav is fine so whatever you easily to understand that we can go so i'm just to go the div is fine so div and the one div class okay one div is fine so the class should be an a uh, what is menu menu is fine so put it menu here 
Emilio or Kappa, right? Then the second one, copy and paste it next line. Third line. Okay, second one should be title. Okay, third one is favorite icon. So the favorite is fine. Okay, perfect. So uh, these three is fine. Okay, and the menu title and this one. So we can style it that one. So after the header, we can put so under yes. First one is menu. Menu. Okay. So menu. Okay, uh, the before we going to style that things, first of all, we need to uh, make a CSS grid of the header. So put here, uh, display a grid. Okay, then second one, grid template columns. We need as three columns, right? So grid template column is three. One is 64 pics and 64 pics menu the center is sort of for the title and third one is 64 pics is perfect so okay the next one is on a grid area so we don't require a grid row so one row is always so a grid area grid template grid iphone template sorry okay templates area areas okay semicolon then insert bracket the first column is for the menu right so first column for menu okay menu space second column should be the title space third column for favorite you can so the favorite this one favorite okay I don't know if the spelling is correct. Okay, it's fine. Whatever it is. So it's a menu title favorite. This three column we required for and uh, the header. So this three will come. After that, we need to style each one. So the first one is uh, menu icon. So the grid area should be menu, right? Okay. Copy menu here is fine. Menu. Okay. The background color. I just to put a, some specific color for it. You can uh, get it uh, how it will appear. So just choose the color of the pink. This one. Okay. Refresh on the browser. You see, the menu uh, section will be up there. The 64 pics menu is on the appear on the left side. So the next one is on a uh, one is on a title section. Title should be an auto. So the title uh, put the title. Uh, grid area is called title okay okay title okay fine so the background color i'm just to give a white background for the easy to understand okay perfect and refresh on the browser save it then go to your browser and refresh it yes see the uh, the auto session that will come on the title session the last session we need to have a favorite icon mm, okay favorite bracket open close okay grid area sorry grid area is favorite favor okay favorite and the background okay just to put a one color so red is fine okay save it you see okay three section is appear here so the menu title and favorite icon so okay so the basically we don't require this color but i'll just give uh, how we'll appear so that we can give the specific color for that uh, but our the proper design should be on a black uh, header uh, so we can add the the next step is we need to add the menu and uh, this thing so okay fine so instead of the menu we need we need a menu icon for that that's the image um, plan to add the svg icon so first of all we need to convert that icon both icon so the layer section we need to rename that icon first okay select that should be an menu icon so smaller to explain menu iphone icon okay then the last one 
okay selected and it should be in a fab or right taken fab or right right okay that's it we can go to export file um, export selected export export you can see here export selected okay so select png svg is fine svg is a scalable vector graphics so uh, it's a good quality graphics for the web in a, it's a popular technology um, every browser it will be support right now so it change the file path so desktop we have the folder already CSS split then okay we said we need to create a folder images okay images no just in ing is fine so you from ing is fine i think for a moment ing that's fine in save okay choose the folder okay then export it okay so many i can we export successfully then next one is favorite item that also we need to export export okay selected and export it okay switch it up. both are we exported so the both item you can see here on the image folder so go here then put the image here so img space src okay see hello uh, the codes then your image path so img slash menu icon dot svg and bracket plus so the image will come right now you see the effect the image is little big right now so we don't give any specific height of that image that's why so go to our style and we need to a proper height so 16 pixels is the height so go to your visual studio editor and style mm is a menu icon right so menu img okay menu okay menu copy it and menu space okay uh, i think we need to okay height is okay otherwise we can put the in a, a simple way some online code we have a right side left side is icon so the, i think the header we can choose okay the header space img is perfect so you can uh, one css for both icons so height should be 16 px okay that's fine the width should be okay mm -hmm. perfect okay so you can check it here so you see the 16 px i uh, images appear here but we need to send up that image so go to your style okay so some specific style for the images first of all text alien sender okay then next one should be an a display block okay display block okay just we can check the browser some changes Nothing will happen because we need to have a sender, so it's a uh, uh, margin zero pixel auto it should be a sender style. Margin zero pixel auto, okay, perfect. Now it should be a sender, but top need to align the vertical we need to align. So, first of all, we go to the design and set what padding on the top or what marking on the top to bottom. So, I think is yes 22 px okay so we can put the margin on the top 22 so just put margin top margin top okay 22 px 22 px okay perfectly done right now it should be in the center of your block you can see here right so it's okay that part we done successfully so the next section is The title section so here one more thing we need to add the tracer pointer is an icon so hand in a large screen we equal for the hand icon so just put that cursor pointer but the mobile view we cannot see the tracer because mobile is always touch so we cannot see the anger there okay so the next section is project details title copy that one 
just go to your HTML index so the title section okay uh, here we may uh, forgot the comments so I think you know then the title uh, title area okay okay uh, so the third one is the favorite item right? okay so just to paste it your text to your project detail yeah. okay perfect so the third one uh, is favorite item part okay so that's it so we successfully added on the three on section so inside we need to add a, add a image icon on the favorite section so image src img slash img slash favorite dot svg okay you can check on the browser close the bracket and click on it because image is something missing i think this is spelling or something is wrong uh, this image is perfect okay i think it's the yes the icon is missing uh, after the favorite iphone icon so you can put icon after the svg okay this icon so just put the after iphone icon yes right on scale so it's a uh, that icon also has come okay the next one is the title section title section okay title section okay menu is done okay this is the link below this is the project detail section so i'm just you need a uh, robot of and the bold so 20 picks so First of all, we need to add the Google font. So I am going to the Google font. How to add that particular font for your website? So just go to the Google web font. You can see here Google web font. It's amazing website for the Google. Uh, okay. So just go to that website. Then we can find it the border font on the right corner. So okay. I think we have a robot font. Okay. So go to the search bar roboto the roboto we can select roboto so we need to add this font on our website right so just select this font then the dialog we can see on the below the one dialog is appear uh, the family is selected so just click on that here okay you can customize the font weight and something like that so just go to the customization on the top here yeah. okay choose the 500 and 700 i think the required the bold and regular so we can select bold and regular is fine you can choose the medium also in case we need to require the medium you can put it okay then embed section we can copy the style number section we can copy that one or just HTML header uh, font from Google okay sorry okay just to paste it that code here okay perfect so now is the successfully attached the font right now so the font family we require on the title so first of all the font size it should be in a 16 px okay 16 ps okay yes 16 ps okay okay then we need to add a color it should be in a white color on the font uh, it should be color should be in a white white short code is a hash it's f f f is fine okay it's a x code it's a f f f is fine for the white so just to put it that white color on the title then we need to call the font family here it's a robot right so okay okay fine just to copy the robot font we cannot see anything because it's a white background so i think we can remove the background of font uh, in the master remove the white 
and remove this pink here and one more color is the, the last one okay the red color yeah this one you can remove it oh, fine so right now it's a black header will appear because the background of header is black okay so the the font is appear here but the font family we didn't call so just put on the font family on here go to your google font okay this is the font family you see font family is roberto and serif is fine it's just copy it and paste it there okay go here and just paste it okay it's fine right now it will appear the roboto font just check it on the browser yes perfect so appear the phone next one is uh, you need to center that phone so just text align center then the vertical align center the line height should be an uh, 60 px so text align should be center okay font weight should be in a bold so that's why i put the 700 then text align center okay now it will be in a center but vertically it's not aligned so i think it's a 60 ps on the our title section so line height should be in a 60 ps line height 60 px okay it's perfect right now it's the center of the particular and horizontal reach will be centered so our header part is finished successfully so next section is the banner section so banner okay banner section the design we have one image on the banner so first of all the export this one so png is fine png format just choose png same location and export okay cool so the banner is exported exported okay okay rename the banner name is we forgot that so again i exported sorry guys okay export it so we can remove the previous one just remove it okay remove it deleted okay deleted so the we convert to export the png on the image and put html the banner session what is the banner okay header session then banner insert okay and img slash src uh, it should be a img slash banner dot png banner dot png okay perfect check your browser yes the image is came is look very nice right now so uh, this image is properly we placed on the banner inside of the banner container so the next i am going to say the image we have uh, some specific style style also we require because it's some large screen we have an, uh, some space on it so the style okay okay this is the banner okay banner img okay so the width should be in a hundred percentage it's always hundred percentage for the width because then only we can fit on the cover yeah, i will show you the issue if you are a large screen you can see the right side is some space is coming okay so it's not a proper fix on the image so that i am going to fix uh, and just uh, take that ipad okay we can fix it here right now uh, so go to your style then the width should be 100 percentage then the next step is should be height height should be in a uh, whatever in outside of the container the same size we require so the banner section we have 242 so the height also we put it height 242 px height should be 242 px okay then the last step is object fit so new features of the css object fit it's called cover so it should be in a cover so our design is going to be okay perfect it's fitting well 
uh, without stretching your image okay so uh, we done that part on the banner session and then we can change the orientation right now okay okay change the orientation icon so we know if the previous one is fine okay the next step is on the content so the main body session uh, okay enter then we have a one title and the description right yes one project title and h1 is a heading tag h1 then the paragraph tag uh, there should be some default content paste some lorem ipsum content so copy this content okay selected some video then paste it okay perfect so the content and title i put it already then refresh it you can see here but some issues here there's some specific padding and uh, margin we require for this content area so we can put it there so the basically i think i put the 20 px on the padding right now so the some paragraph i'm just repeat a little more okay because the button we need to showcase on the down arrow right okay perfect it's fine i think yeah that's yeah, fine so okay the next one we need to and some padding for that name so here my grid is showing is a 20 px i put left and right so yeah it's a 20 px you can see on the 20 px so I'm just put 20 px padding for our uh, main body section so uh, go to your code and then the style uh, where is the other style okay style okay put it here padding 20 px vertical uh, that means left right bottom top is the 20 px this will come you see okay the next one is an style to the text and both okay we need to add the robot font style for the both section so um, we can add the font here right okay copy things here and slash is one okay okay it's a padding so i think the some default style will come for the heading so some uh, the browser margin is came right now so we need to remove that things then only we can put uh, our custom padding so i'm just going to remove that things okay okay so the margin i think the margin the margin should be zero margin zero and then zero gives okay so you see it's remove the margin then the padding here padding also we need to remove okay so the paragraph we have the same issue the padding also remove there okay it's perfect then we need to add the font style set rule So go to the style I think the body these things we can put on the body because uh, if you put body all will come all our content appear the same step so the phone family should be on the body so you see yeah is came so perfectly came the style on the then the next one should be uh, the color and the font size and all okay it should be an a 10 dpx bold roboto so go to down and okay h1 it should be okay font size should be 10 dpx okay perfect then font shade font weight should be an a bold right okay font color should be in a 4 4 is fine 
so what about the color you can copy that color if you want that side you can copy that one otherwise i'm just put the four two two is fine so i'm happy with that so margin bottom and just give the 10 px for the bottom gap for the paragraph and the title okay perfect okay So the paragraph is a 14 px regular font of the Roboto. So I'm just in the paragraph style should be font uh, size 14 px. Then color should be ash 99. It's a shades of black. Okay, 99. Okay, okay, perfect. So the paragraph. Uh, style we require some the line height also so line height I give the standard 24px okay that's perfect for line height okay perfect cool so these are the uh, the basic style for uh, we put that uh, our section the next section is the button so the button we have in a one text here share now just to go to HTML then instead of the button tag we put uh, anger it should be on a link so i put the anger so I just paste it then uh, sorry i put the anger first anger a href is equal to it's a default value slash i put uh, then um, bracket close and instead we put share save and check it now okay it's a uh, text is come but the the same uh, the default style will appear on the anger on the browser style we remove and we need to put the custom style on that one so the so the it's a 16 px white robot above so go to your style then the button style put it button hyphen a brackets and then and display block okay and text align should be center okay then the color should be a white right white text okay just check it now i think okay yes white is come but uh, some text decoration is kind for the underline so uh, Font says we need to be on the 16 ps okay. 16 ps Then we need to remove the line for the uh, underline. So the old anger tag is always coming the underline for the default style. So we're going to remove the underline. So that's called text decoration. Text decoration should be an NN. Okay. Perfect. So right now is remove that text decoration. So that our HTML conversion is ready right now so we can check on the different uh, viewpoint you see the all it's coming perfectly so because the html foundation is a proper so that's why so i think the css grid is very easy to convert your whatever your html foundation is a proper way you can convert it so i'm just align your style okay header body then the header header image image okay, menu title okay, favorite icon and okay button so here we put button part commanded then the main part main body part right main body part commanded that's it then 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 the button part sorry button part of here so button part here so button part okay button part okay button part body main part and banner part and header part okay it's fine perfectly we did the html exact same design we convert to html using this new uh, popular css grid so okay it's perfect for the html also you can see here right so yeah yeah we can convert it like that so i think uh, guys you can like in my video maybe 
so if you have any doubt about this system conversion and anything you can just comment it below so yeah okay so the we yeah, are ready for the iPhone race what uh, which view po viewpoint viewport you can fit it to this HTML because it's a proper way so thank you guys